Thanks again, Warden. And so I shall. As you like. I shall.
The Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak. News of the hour. Support Lord Balin at your peril. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors. How can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Opera. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exile. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Can you believe it? Ogren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, Hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the Deep Roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the Deep Roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? 
Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith, and Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. She invented a smokeless fuel that let the smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Deaths from the black lung also dropped. The assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I... I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just... burn everything in your store. My store! Please! I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Th this is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please! Don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. You really should learn more about the places you visit. The Carta is the foundation of business in Orzammar. It's a commercial venture of like-minded individuals who make money in whatever way suits their talents. You say protection racket, I say honorable business. You say thief, I say dead human. Are you going to make your donation to the Stranger Safety Fund? Or do I have to show you how dangerous Orzammar is? Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I... I've never met her, of course. 
They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's out, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to dis- I'm showing you the Now, I've heard about the Orlesian bards. Who hasn't? They are quite famous, after all. The stories I heard were a little racier. It had to do with how a bard assassinated her target. How they were lulled into complacency. If those stories were true, who would ever agree to entertain a bard in their court? Oh, I don't know. There's a certain allure to danger, isn't there? And besides, you couldn't all be assassins, could you? I'd take my chances. If the stories were true, that is. We had rules about that sort of thing. 
Strict rules. Such as? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Let's just say I had plenty of reasons to join the Chantry, shall we? And leave it at that. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there.